what did Senior Day mean for you guys and have your families here? Hunter, go first. Um, it was really good to have my family here because they're from North Carolina, so I don't get to see them a lot. So just them being here and walking with me was really special, and I love that they were able to watch me play. I for mean, for the first time in four years, my brothers decided to make an appearance, so it was kind of special. Julia? Um, same. It's just really special to see them play, uh, come and watch me play. I'm really good at interviews. <laughs> Jill. Oh my God. Um, so a lot of my extended family's here, so it was really important for me because we always talk about lacrosse off the field, but they finally got to see me on the field. Erica. Same here. Um, like my grandparents came, well, my grandma and my aunt, and my cousin, and then like all my extended family. So it was really nice to just see everyone here and them being a part of this day. All right. So the next couple of questions will be for each section of you. I mean, we're going to talk about your whole four years here. This one's for Hunter and Julia. You guys, you're from the Carolinas. You're from upstate New York. How big is family for the either first year getting you like acclimated to college? And how big is your family just to help you out? Hunter will go first. Well, they, my dad calls me every Sunday. Me and my mom text all the time. It's just, they just give me a lot of support and like encouragement like while they're away. When they come up, it's even like better because I actually get to see them. So just family's really important. I, I love them a lot. <laughs> Julia? Um, my mom and I talk all the time and my dad and I talk every day and my sister too and so that's really important to me to just like have them there all the time when they can't be here in person. They're always like texting me or calling me before games so I feel like they're here and they always watch so it's been important to me that they're always in contact with me. So you guys have a unique situation the four of you guys you guys live together how interesting was that the whole entire you know the last two years living together um honestly it was it's fun like I I like rather it be this way than like any other way and we all get along really well so it's never really like affect us in a negative way anyone else want to comment about that situation or it's fun. <laughs> uh, f for you three you guys were named captains at the beginning of the season how big was it for you guys to be captains in your senior year who wants to go first Jill. Um, I just like that I'm captain because I felt like I've always had a big voice on the team and now I can actually like apply it in a constructive way and help like the younger girls. We're a young team this year so I think it's important that they had us like uh, when they came in and just we've helped them grow and it's just a nice experience and to be a leader. Jules. Um, same thing. Like, I'm happy that we can mentor the younger girls because when we leave, they're going to um, have, like, another rebuilding year. So I'm happy that we can help and show them how to be leaders and lead the team so that we can, you know, leave them in their capable hands next year. Erica. Um, I think it was a really important, like, um, factor of us three being leaders on the field because of, like, the turnover we had in the coaching, like, staff and the issues we had. So, like, when we didn't have a coach, like, us three were, like, forced to really, like, help the girls out, like, in every way possible. So I thought that was, like, pretty special. This question is solely for Rachel. Rachel, you've, you've unfortunately had a lot of injury problems. You had some concussions, some back problems. Being able to be healthy your senior year, you play your senior day in front of your family, how big is that and how did you overcome all these injuries? You don't overcome the injuries. I mean, you get, you like learn from them. I mean, like I've always got the back problems, but I'm just going to play through the pain. All right, Hunter and Julie, you guys are up next. You guys are, I believe, nine goals away from 100, both of you guys. How big is it to get 100 goals before you guys graduate? Hunter, go first. Um, I just think it's really exciting for me just – for me to have like a goal to like look forward to like every game like try to get one or two goals to like build up and eventually when I get my hundred it just be a big celebration for me I'll be really happy to get it. Julia. Um, it's really important to me because I'm like just an attacker so Hunter's a midfielder I'm just an attacker so I've also like assisted a lot so I'm really excited that like I'll get my hundredth like it shows that I'm not just an assister like I can do more than that and it's just really exciting to get your name on the banner. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next couple of questions the last two are for all five of you. Erica alluded to it, you guys have had to go through coaching changes. I believe you've had three coaches in the last four years. How are you guys able to stay together as a big unit without, you know, falling apart? Erica, you want to? We started with nine of us, and as you can see, there's only five. So I think it shows a lot about how we are as people and players, and we've stuck through it, through it all. We've been through literally hell and back because we've had three coaches in four years. But I think having all four of them has really helped me out personally. Um, I think the team we have is like the most important. We stay positive. We know how to work with each other. Like we really are a family. And when we didn't have a strong coach, we still remain strong. So I think that's really important. Um, it's been good to have just like the seniors as like a unit to keep everyone else grounded because like we stuck it out through all of this. So it kind of I would hope like inspires other people to, like stick it out through these changes as well. Great. I mean like we're like a huge family, so like we all have each other's back and just having. 
this is the new coach is like a helpful for all of us. Time to bring it home. Yeah, we've like we've stuck together these past four years, and like coaches change, but like we'll always be together. We'll always be a family. So. Last question for all you guys. Post post lacrosse plans. I, I I know where everyone's going and the plans, especially Hunter. But for the for the crowd that at home, st Hunter started off. What's up next after lacrosse? Um, I got accepted into the LaSalle Society program, so I'll be getting my doctorate in clinical psychology with a focus on PTSD and other anxiety related to war and trauma. Rachel, I want to become an occupational therapist. Julia, a teacher in uh, urban schools is my goal for right now. Jillian. Uh, I'm going to go to law school after graduation. Erica. Graduate school for my master's in clinical psychology. You guys had a great four-year career. There's still work to be done. We still have a lot of CAC games left, so let's bring it home, all right, guys? Yeah. Thanks for the time. Thanks,